foreign policy priorities of Azerbaijan is to not allow it that the world will forget about uh, the occupied territories of Azerbaijan, forget about the uh, uh, internal displaced people. Uh, this is part of our priority. He didn't just touch that Russia relationships or Turkey relationships or the pipelines, he also touched the European Union relationships or the uh, OPEC relationships. And it, uh, this is helped to us to see that how the Azerbaijan understand the world. Mr. Shamar Nasimov is uh, currently executive director of State Oil Fund. This is already 30 billion worth uh, fund. But one of the most important projects we are proud of is the education program. And the education program is that every citizen of Azerbaijan, if he gets admitted to a foreign university, and we have a list of eligible universities, around 500 universities from across the world, he gets full scholarship, which pays for tuition, very generous accommodation and living expenses. And the only requirement from those students is to return to Azerbaijan and live in Azerbaijan for five years. I was very impressed, especially by the head of SOFA's uh, presentation, how the fund is moving in a positive manner and uh, how they are using the fund to invest in future education of Azeri people, as we have done with the Norwegian fund and sending them abroad. <laughs> When you're speaking with a legend of Azerbaijan and in fact the whole Soviet oil industry, you definitely hear a lot of things you will never hear anywhere else or never read in any other books. Foreign students were, you know, uh, they were kept busy all the time just making notes. It means that it's not like, you know, the uh, student listening to the lecture and they find something useful and then picks up, for example, in the 15, 20 minutes interval something interesting. This process was absolutely practical. Good things that you have really officials, high ranking, who can transmit you their thinking, their experience, which is not easy to have these kind of people around the table. Even not easy to have opportunity to ask them questions. Huh? So you can really ask questions to people that you barely encounter in your life. Huh? What uh, Moshpat is doing in so far, I think, promising, very promising for us to make all these estimations to be true. So thank you very much. Belarus, Ukraine, and Turkey are the only three countries that are dividing the European consumption from the Eurasian production. Elshad Nasirov, vice president of um, state oil company of uh, Azerbaijan, uh, I remember hearing some things from him, which even to me, someone coming from BP, a company uh, working in Azerbaijan for many years in oil and gas um, uh, sector, to me this was revelations, new things I've never heard before. What really matters when you're talking energy diplomacy is energy investment. Energy security is uh, not just a uh, hypothetical uh, thing. Uh, many do remember the uh, chilly winter days uh, a few years ago when, when the tap was, uh, was turned off. So. A 
Azerbaijan is developing by leaps and bounds. That the idea that there would be a diplomatic academy here, training up not only Azerbaijani nationals to serve Azerbaijan in its foreign service as well as foreign business, etc., but that foreigners would actually be coming here to learn from Azerbaijan. This is unimaginable 10 years ago, much less 20 years ago. Completely unimaginable. Good evening, welcome to ADA Majlis. This month, Azerbaijan Diplomatic Academy is conducting its fifth annual summer energy program. In my view, most important achievement was that among the all five countries around the Caspian, Azerbaijan was, was able to make the uh, world to put on uh, attention to this region. We have much less oil and gas than Russia. We have much less oil and gas than Kazakhstan. 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 We have much less gas than Turkmenistan. We have much Europe. less uh, energy resources than Iran. But Azerbaijan became driving Pioneer. country. In, in that sense, I think, it's success of our foreign policy uh -huh. and energy policy. We'll be right